we've seen quite a bit of Nicaragua so far, but in this vlog, we wanted to explore more of the coastline and more of the amazing lakes here. Getting around Nicaragua is pretty easy, but it tends to take a long time. So we thought it was about time that we give them life a go. Oh my God, Ooh. you just crossed the river in your van in Nicaragua. That's right, we have rented this van for three amazing nights where we explore some beautiful beaches just like the one behind me, as well as some amazing views of the lakes of Nicaragua. But we also have learned why van lifers always say something will go wrong. It's starting to rain in here. I don't know about this van life. I'm not 100% sold yet. So. so join us for the next three days as we trial van life and explore Nicaragua. As you can see, we have rented this amazing camper van for the next three nights to go and explore Nicaragua on our own terms. And Jacqueline's driving because my driver's license has expired. Yeah, unfortunately Max doesn't have a driver's license right now. We're trying to fix that issue. So for now, I'm going to be driving this very old, very big American car. Look very big. <laughs> Oh my god, we'll do an old tour of you later, don't worry. Yes, but first we need to go get fuel and groceries and head to the beach. Yeah. Let's go. I'm a little bit nervous because, like, the road rules, there are none. People uh, just do whatever they want. You've gone to Asia, so... I well, I haven't driven in Asia. AC! Oh my god, this is a truck! It's so big! Oh my gosh! Jump! <laughs> my gosh, just dropped! Avocado has fallen! Dang! Stop it, Logan. I don't need that much. I don't know how it works. It was in Cordoba. How many liters did you put? Huh? How many liters did you put? I have no idea. How much did you pay? 1,282. I got confused. I thought it was in US dollars. Avocado on the. Oh, there's avocado here. No shoes inside the house, kids. Yeah, time to play Tetris with the fridge. Hi, honey, I'm home. <laughs> I'm starving. Yeah, we need some food. We bought these uh, big, yummy focaccias. Some dur oh my god, my mouth is salivating. I'm so good. hungry and some Doritos and some apples for lunch. For starters of lunch. Mm. Yeah. Doritos, guys, am honestly. We, am I clear on your side? Clear, clear, clear. You want a coffee? I love one, what's it on? Oh, I need more warning than that. turned on the tap and it just like bursted out. Okay, let's see if it works now. Slowly. We just pulled over on the side of the road and uh, gonna boil some water and make a little coffee. It's not lighting. Fortunately, we couldn't figure out the coffee, well, the gas system. So we'll just have, we have a 45 minute drive. We're almost there. 
so mean, it should be pretty straightforward, but it's just not working. Maybe there's some gas. The road just ended and now it's dirt road. I think it comes back. I don't know. No. No, I was wrong. I thought it was going to come back to the town. There is some water right there, Jaglin. Okay, I just go through it, right? I guess so. He just went through it. Yeah. The motorbike just came through it. It don't take too long to go through it. Oh my god, it looks deep. Oh. And it's soft. Oh my god, Ooh. you just crossed the river in your van in Nicaragua. Wow. <laughs> I'm quite impressed on this one, I have to say. That was fun. That was fun. <laughs> we made it to Papoyo. <laughs> The actual drive from San Juan del Sur to Papoyo should have actually taken an hour and a half, but I think it took us like three and a half hours to get here. It's really funny as well because we always watch van life vlogs and they always say, oh my God, something goes wrong every day in van life. You just have to like learn to manage that. And already something has gone wrong. It's starting to rain in here. It's raining now that we've arrived, so there's not really too much we can do right now so we thought we would make a coffee but the gas is not working at all but luckily we've actually come to a campsite here it's called la luna um, we can park our van here it's six dollars per person per night so twelve dollars for us and uh they have a kitchen so at least we can make some coffee oh it's raining hard all right it stopped raining and we thought we would make our way down just to check out the beach and I'm kind of surprised. I mean, maybe it was just a really big swell. Whoa. And a very high tide because of the super moon. But everyone made out like Papoyo Beach was so beautiful and amazing. And it's not right now. I'm sure it is other times. But this is what we're working with. Alright, we climbed up to this lookout and now this is more what we had pictured when we were coming to this area. It's really beautiful. There's this huge rock coming out on our left here and it looks like a submarine as Max pointed out. And uh, a really nice wave. The water looks a bit cleaner over here as well. This is a good looking surf spot. This is not the weather I imagined when we decided to do van life in Nicaragua but it is what it is so we're gonna go have a nice relaxing first night in the van at least it's not super hot and super sunny like it's still kind of hot though yeah but it could you imagine how, hot, uh, how much hotter it could be it's very humid now yeah. but uh yeah we're gonna go have a relaxing night and plan an epic day tomorrow so stay tuned Since we're at a campsite, I'm gonna fill up with water because we treat ourselves to doing the dishes and flushing because Jacqueline used the toilet last night. Oh, we'll give you a full review on the toilet system later. <laughs> but uh, yes, I'm gonna make the most of the water system, which, which I don't know where it is. That is cool because we've been doing it the hard way this whole time. All right, first mission of today is to try and get some gasoline. No, some gas. 
Oh, some propane gas. Hello? Hello? Well, we found a shop that has gas, has propane gas. Oh, wow. Uh, Gracias. Gracias, señor. Doesn't feel empty. Empty? I think it has. It has gas? Yeah, check it out. Oh my god, all of that effort. I'm so hot now. But it turns out the gas was never connected properly in the first place. Now it works. It works. Now we can leave finally. <laughs> now we can cook in the van. Yay! stops for honey so we're gonna stop and get some honey we made it here to the lookout which basically looks at Lago de Apoyo and behind there is Granada which is looks super tiny but this is a place where we were before all of these things we've been doing but it's a really beautiful spot and then there's another volcano over there as well so it's very beautiful nah, it's really pretty here very very pretty but it's the weekend so there's a lot of people here but yeah it's a happy vibe there's kids lying around running around there's horses going up and down a ah, good little spot here very pretty and i think jacqueline has found a campsite um yeah very very cute spot they even have like those little people running up and down selling coffee ice cream or something and yeah very touristy but you do pay as well an entrance of 20 Cordobas per person. Of course, I'm gonna find Jacqueline by the ice cream stand. Less than $2, that's pretty good. Mm. Mm. Well, that was a really nice stop and now like Max said, we're gonna go and find our campsite, but we gotta stop and get some more fresh fruit and veggies before we do that. Eh, no tomatoes. Ah? No tomatoes? Tomate. tomate. Yeah, tomate. No, no hay tomate. tomate. Okay. ¿A cuándo? 70. 70. Gracias. We're at the camping spot, but it's a steep, steep down here. I went all the way to check it out to see if it's okay. I think it's okay. It's gonna be a rough one. <laughs> Jacqueline's driving. Really good. I think we might have found an amazing camping spot. We're using an eye overlander to find this spot and it's amazing. You have a view of the lake. We're right on the lake, which by the way, Laguna de Apoyo is the deepest point in Central America because this lake is actually over 200 meters deep. It's really beautiful. You can see the hills with the flowering trees and there's no one here. It's quite late and we haven't had any lunch yet, so Max is very hungry. I'm gonna get a good meal going now. We're having some gas issue again. No, oh, disconnected it, reconnected it. Okay, well, Max tries to figure out how the gas works. I'm gonna make a new friend. <laughs> Hello! Hi! So I have some food for you! <laughs> Hold on! You're a good boy! You are such a good boy! Yeah, put it on the map for you! Yes! Oh, oh good boy! Yes, 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 yes! yes. Aren't you? you need someone to love you, it's gonna be me. It's gonna be me. Hi. Oh. 
Finally. Ooh, looks good. Did the best I could without the gas. Yeah, it's not what we originally wanted, but it looks amazing and I know it's gonna taste amazing. Thank you. You're welcome. And we've got some white wine and we got our little doggos. <laughs> We cannot sit here by this beautiful lake and not go for a swim. And also, it looks like there's a storm coming. So I'm gonna go for a quick swim now. Max is not gonna join me. Usually he would, but for some reason he's happy just sitting there. So it's just me and you guys. really refreshing it's still pretty hot here so that feels really good beautiful it's quite dark in there the water is not like blue clear lake like you might have in Canada for example but it's fresh water so even though I've been for swim I feel so clean and fresh what better way to use the rain when you're camping than to shower with it I'm backing it up with the outside shower. So yeah, make the most of it. I'm gonna have to. And I'm gonna test out the indoor shower, which looks really tiny. So let's see how this goes. It's kind of weird to shower over the top of a toilet. This is really tiny. And there's no lights in here. Now, I don't think we have too much water. So the plan is wet myself, soap myself, and then rinse myself. Only major issue is that the van is on a bit of a lean. So it's leaning away from the drain. So the water's not draining properly. So now there's kind of just like a pool of water in the drain, which I don't know what to do about. But all in all, pretty good. It's just after 5 a.m., but about an hour and a half ago, this group of really loud, really drunk locals showed up where we were sleeping. Like park right next door. And uh, they've been screaming and yelling and I mean they're celebrating it is a weekend but it's just not what we were in the mood for. So we have left which is a real shame because it was actually a really beautiful sunrise right there on the lake and it was a really nice spot but it's 5 a.m. and we're going somewhere else camping life I don't know about this van life I'm not 100% sold yet so far it seems like a lot of work <laughs> well yeah I don't know we'll see how the rest of the today plays out what's going on but by some miraculous reason the gas is working again so we can make coffee but i don't get it it didn't work and now it works honestly like i really don't know but whatever i get a coffee and that's all that matters camping guys are something against us i mean what are the odds um, anyway, I felt bad. He actually made us a coffee. So. Oh, he made us a coffee. Yeah. Oh. He doesn't open until 8 and it's 5 30. Oh, so I still paid him for yeah. one coffee. Good, thank you. <sighs> well, 
at least we have coffee. Yes, so good. And for breakfast, we have a very simple peanut butter and banana toast. Oh, there's a hair on mine, gross. With honey, local honey. Mm. So whilst we're here, we thought we would give you a bit of a tour of the van. Jacqueline will obviously do the honors. <laughs> now we've been in the van for like one and a half days, two nights. I feel like we kind of are a little bit more familiar with it. We've figured out all its little features. Not all of its kings because the gas is still a bit funky, but we'll show you around. Welcome to our humble abode. So I've just turned the fan off because it's very loud <laughs> when you're filming. But there is a ceiling fan that can either bring air in or draw air out. We have a tiny little kitchen, but functional if we could make the gas work every time. This is a really cool feature that I haven't seen in very many van life vlogs. The sink is covered by a chopping board, which is very common, but the chopping board just slides right out like a drawer, which is so genius because now I can access the sink, but whatever I had seen on top of the sink is still there. I don't have to like lift it off and find somewhere else to put it. Anyway, I think that's really genius. Then we have a little double burner stove. Underneath is kind of like all utensils and stuff like that. Cooking, you got your gas, more utensils. There is this neat little extra table. I don't think it's very steady, so I wouldn't use it to like chop or anything, but you could put stuff on there if you needed to. This is where you turn on the water pump if you want to use the water, like the shower or the tap. And then this little one is a uh, test and it tells us all of our levels. Then on this side, we have our lounge room slash bedroom where this pulls out into a bed at nighttime. There's storage, so much storage. There's so, so much storage in this van. Like, I'm not even gonna show it all to you because it's just so much. And then we have a little fridge, which basically just looks like an XC that's been put sideways, <laughs> which I think is exactly what it is, but hey, it works. And then this is a cool feature. This door closes to like cut off the back of the van because in the back of the van is a bathroom so you have like a fully private bathroom really really nice and of course more storage this is our bathroom towel and then oh, <laughs> oh. it's a small van still a bathroom it has a full functioning toilet with a flush like how cool is that? The shower is actually pretty good. It is teeny tiny and obviously it's over the top of the toilet, but I had a shower in there last night. I tried to be super quick not to use too much water, but it worked and I think I could wash my hair if I wanted to. And then there's just a lot more storage back here. Nothing too exciting on this side. More storage and then the back door. And that's it. That's the one thing that I would not, what I prefer is a bigger door just for not hitting my head <laughs> and also just for the views, like when you're in your van, it's nice. So the outside starts halfway through the inside. There's a little table here, it's like a little pig. And yeah, if you got your camping chair set up, you can just leave your beer here and yeah, pretty cool little feature. Okay, on the back of it. There is a ladder. We've never gone to the top. I'm gonna to go there for the first time right now. Let's see what there is. All right, let's have a look for the first time. Cool little ladder. Okay, yeah, it's very tiny. It's very cool. So you have this big ass box here, but the aircon doesn't work for the van itself, but there's a huge aircon. Anyway, moving on. Okay, spare tires. Oh, this one is where you empty your grey water and your poop water plus... Oh, this is the connection to your campsite. So you can have electricity, you can have electricity plugged in. Very cool feature. You saw me yesterday using it. Outdoor shower. Very convenient. By the way, there's a kiddo watching cartoon. Excuse the noise in the background. Okay, you have 
some cables here, an extension plug, and a water pipe so that you can fill up for your van. And voila, that's it. That's the van, guys. For the size that it is and the amount of storage that there is, it's actually pretty well packed in there. So, good spot. We will go towards San Juan del Sur and a little bit past that is a beach called Playa Maderas. Now, we've had like two or three people say that it's like the most beautiful beach. <laughs> However, we've also been told the road to get there is a little bit treacherous. So, should we attempt it? Yeah. Okay. We'll go, I mean, we'll go as far as we can and besides, after doing what we did yesterday or this morning, I'm sure it can handle quite a bit. Yeah, okay. We'll give it a go. We'll see you at Playa Maderas. There's one right here! Oh my god, there's a family of monkeys literally right above us, just on the side of the road. Oh, oh that one has bowls. huge bowls. You can see it from the skylights. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Gracias. Jackie. Mucho gusto. Luis. Luis? Luis? And this is Max. Max. Yes. Max. Hola, Max. Muchas gracias. Gusto. Okay. Coco. Coco. Ah, yeah. Gracias. Your phone. Canada, Alemania. Ah, Australia. Australia. Yes. Bienvenido. Gracias. Oh, this is so nice. Beautiful. It's gonna be a good spot. Yeah. So the bed shifted whilst we were driving, but everything else stayed in place. Pretty good, surprisingly, considering the road we went on. Max has just overtaken. This is Louis. We made yeah. a new friend. Hola. Bienvenido a Playa Madera, chicos. <laughs> He's our best friend here at Playa Maderas. He's, uh, he went to clear the rocks and like coconut shells yeah. and everything for right in front of our van for us. So sweet. But Max took over, let him have a rest. Okay. Perfecto. All right. Ah, perfecto. Buenos. This one? Yeah. ¿Cuándo? 40, corto. ¿Cuánto? Dos. Ah, uno. Uno. Gracias. Ah, nice. 40 Cordoba for this yeah. massive one. Yeah, our favorite. Yeah. <laughs> Gracias, señor. <laughs> so nice. Yeah, limpio. Yes, it's perfect camping. Look at this beautiful, clear beach we now have. Thank you, lover. Hi. I have a nice cold Jamaica juice waiting for you when you're done. Ah, the water feels so nice!
perfect. Perfect afternoon. Dente con tomate con queso. Queso. As much as you want. Because there's a lot of cheese. <laughs> Look at the view. I think this might be one of our best dinners. Look at that view guys, honestly. Can't beat that, eh? Actually, we finished you know, in the perfect time for sunset. Yeah, the sun is like one finger away, 15 minutes away. Amazing. What an amazing day. Oh, look at that. We just watched the sunset whilst we're eating our amazing dinner, which we're still eating. But before we lose too much light, I really wanted to show you why this beach is kind of famous or so popular around here. Look at this. There's a huge, beautiful rock out in the ocean that looks like the moon is just laying in the water and it's so beautiful. And the lighting at the moment, and the temperature is perfect, and dinner is yummy. Ah! What an amazing day. And we have cute doggos like this guy. Hey. You're so cute. Oh, you just want some love. You just want some love. We don't normally vlog at night time because it's dark and you can't really see us and kind of the same thing goes for the van. The lights have gone really dim tonight. We have like no battery power left. So we're just set up the bed. This is what the bed looks like by the way. Yeah, we haven't shown you the bed in three nights of staying here. So it basically, it pulls out to take up like this whole kitchen living area. It's pretty comfortable. Um, yeah, we've been sleeping pretty well in it. Yeah. yeah. Right. You see like this proper big space. Give me a bit of starfish spread. Oh. oh my goodness. See like, she's taking, this is how she sleeps by the way. No. We've been watching Jet Lag the Game on YouTube, which is really funny. It's basically these kids from America and they have created a kind of like amazing race game on YouTube but it's so funny so we're gonna go do that and we'll see you in the morning bye guys good night Max has gone out for a surf and I have made myself some breakfast and some and there's still a few dogs lying around being cute but I need to eat my breakfast because there's also quite a few flies lying around not being cute so I gotta get rid of that seems like we're completely out of battery by trying to turn this on nothing happens and so I don't know if that means we're out of water or the pumps not working so let's start the car for a little bit Should be able to check over here if it's working. Fresh water. So I think we're pretty much out of water. And also, there's no battery. So I'll just let the car run for a few minutes. Hopefully that'll be enough to finish off our morning because unfortunately this morning, we're returning this beautiful, beautiful vehicle. Breakfast. Oh my God, look at that. Isn't that living? I got mango, I got a coconut in the fridge, I got a toast banana, after surf and it's 7.59. Great way to start the day. Mm. 
Living the life, guys. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, got our dog here. Fortunately, now is the time that we are drilling. We gotta give the van back. A great time with this van. Might have to be good. It is time to go. We have to return the big Smurf. The Big Smurf? <laughs> Special name, The Big Smurf. The Big Smurf. I actually think it has a name on the website, but I like The Big Smurf. It's a big, blue, old anyway. thing. <laughs> it's been great. It's been fun. Yeah. It turned out to be good. It started rough, but like any new adventures, you gotta learn your way in. I would say that if we were gonna do this again, we would take the van for a week. I think you need a week to get into the groove of things. Three days, I feel like only on day three did we start to get into a groove and I think we needed a few more days. Yeah, being yeah. a week, you really get the hang of it. Like yeah. this morning, the routine we could have approved by having a coffee ready. Like it's all the little things yeah. that add up. Exactly. But yeah, you gotta learn. You live and you learn. Either way, we're so grateful we gave it a go. I think we'll definitely be giving van life a go again in the future, even if it's just a rental, because we've had so much fun just like having our own wheels and going where we want, when we want, being able to cook, sleep. Yeah. And yeah. that's everything we hope you enjoyed this vlog if you have not subscribed and you made it all the way to this point clearly you think we're pretty awesome and you should hit subscribe and we'll put a link uh, to the company that rents this van so if any of you ends up in Nicaragua feel free to reach out I highly recommend them a lot yeah. of fun and yeah thanks for watching 100% we've had them on whatsapp the whole time contacting them about spots that we can sleep and everything so free riders Nicaragua we'll put the link in the description bye bye guys